hospitals in Scotland and the south of England. At 100,000 tonnes, she's the largest oil tanker ever built in Europe and the heaviest ship to be launched in Britain since the war. But leaving statistics for a moment, consider just one feature which makes British Admiral so unusual. It's customary to install a ship's engines, machinery and furnishings after the hull has been launched. But the Admiral is virtually a completed ship before she leaves the slipway. Apart from engines and control equipment, the crew's accommodation has already been fitted out. Air-conditioned quarters that approach the comfort of a modern passenger liner. Queen was to launch her from Vickers Armstrong's yard at Barrow. First, a bouquet of orchids from shorthand typist Margaret Dixon before the preliminaries to the launching. After the trucks have been removed, the heaviest ship ever to be launched at Barrow is held only by the triggers, which are released as Her Majesty moves the ship's telegraph to a slow astern. of the Queen, ships and oil are two of the most powerful sinews of our economy. One cargo will provide enough petrol to run 32,000 mini cars and enough fuel oil to heat 700 homes for a year. A critical moment when the 900 foot tanker narrowly misses a crane at the end of the slipway as she swings round with the wind. While she was building, said the Queen, she brought employment to Barrow. In her working life, she will help to bring prosperity to the whole country. British Admiral and British industry deserve a salute from us all. <laughs>